Hey you guys, you got another rod reel combo review? So I got another Shimano X Pride review for you guys. This is the uh, 610 medium, uh, the Japanese version. So this is a Shimano X Pride B series, but this one's from Japan. It's a one piece, but it's really a two piece because uh, I don't know why Japanese rods are their um, rods become come feraled at the the handle joint and the end butt joint so it's technically not really glued in or set you know like um american rods you know this is what you would get compared to J japanese rods well i which i think it's cool because like if you're traveling you can actually just pull it out from the butt section and you know it's what what 16 inch shorter so about you know a little over a foot shorter if you want to you know something more compact right but if so just get a two-piece rod <laughs> so this is a, a 610 medium x pride so this is going to handle uh between 7 to 21 gram lures which is a quarter to three quarter ounce which is kind of similar to the the medium light or the medium heavy this is an in between so this is a six foot 10 inches is going to handle to 8 to 16 pound line. Um, right now, I actually have this on 8 pound Berkeley Trilene. Is I believe is the, the XT, you know, for casting. And uh, I like it. I love, you know, very affordable fishing line. Don't ask me why I use green fishing line, but uh, one of my favorite color fishing lines for some reason, or just use clear. Other than that, some people like the yellow line or so you can see it and whatnot, but you know, you know, teach their own. It's all preference. Right here, I got this um, on a uh, square bill. Yeah, looks like a, it's a KVD, I believe. You know, uh, you know, your popular color, your sexy shad, which I love for bass fishing. I like square bills and like, um, you know, shallow crank baits or, you know, the uh, Rapala Tiny OG or the, uh, the OG Slim. You know, those are like one of my favorite crankbaits because they deflect off of rocks and like wood piles really easily. So it doesn't really get hung up if you're like speed burning and whatnot. And I actually have this on a um, 8.1 gear ratio Tatula 103. Um, if you're looking for a budget reel that's under 200 bucks, the Tatula 103 is probably one of my favorites. It's very light and compact. I believe it's like, um, what, like 195 grams or something like that. Or, you know, it's usually lighter than an SLX Shimano, which I enjoy. And it's more compact, actually. It's a 100 size reel, so you probably get a little less line. But overall, I think it's a great combo for like medium, medium light. I know, so actually, I had it on my medium heavy too, X Pride too, at one point. But um, the 72 medium heavy ended up getting the, uh, I believe that I put a Calcutta on it. So. Can't go wrong with that, right? But overall, this uh, real rod setup is really nice. You can't go wrong with the medium for like a uh, bass fishing, but you know, I, you know, I do jerk baits on this too. This one has like um, some really nice backbone. As you can see, it's like a, it's a, it's a moderate fast. Then it's definitely gonna be more in the the mid section, as you can see, more like the mid bottom. It's gonna be, you know, you're able to pin your fish which is very versatile. I usually like to kind of like throw my crank baits out there and kind of like speed burn it, you know, cause I have an 8.1. So it's going to definitely reel in more line than um, a 7.1 or 6.2. So like, I like to be like very, uh, like to have very specific setups, you know, you know, dedicated for certain types of fishing. You know, if you want a faster type of, Kind of like crash and burn, you know, definitely the 8.1 is definitely the way to go if you're going to be cranking for speed, you know, and winding pretty fast, which is kind of nice. So that's why I like the 8 to 1, but you definitely can get by with the 7 to 1. I have that on my medium light and I have no complaints. It's all preference. I really think it's, um, I don't think gear ratio really matters. I mean, like... If it's too fast, you slow down the reeling, right? If it's too slow, you reel faster. So you you could just compensate your reeling. So you can't really pick the wrong um, gear ratio. Unless like you have an 8.1 in that 
that pressure of reeling kind of bothers you. Sometimes it bothers me sometimes, especially for like, um, say I'm like I'm doing like a chatter bait, you know, so I can really feel that blade kind of moving really fast if it's like 8.1, but I usually stick for 7.1 if, if so, around there. You can't go wrong, you know, it's all preference. See right here, very nice bend. You know, this has a X, X power wrap. Makes it very rigid. Goes back into its place really fast. So titanium sit guides all the way through the tip. Has a monocoque handle for uh, sensitivity on your forearm. You can feel it hit the bottom, rocks, ledges, you know, like, you know, debris, grass. So like you kind of can really feel everything from the rod up, you know, very sensitive. This is very light. You can't go with the medium 610 for jerk baits, crank baits. It's a, you know, very versatile bass rod, right? Everybody likes a good 610 medium. Can't go wrong and not add that to your arsenal, you know? Yeah, so shout out all the uh, 610 medium rods out there. Rod users, you can't. There's all types of uh, popular ones out there. You know, everybody uses the... Uh, 610 mega bass whip snake you know i hear that a lot so but you definitely can't go wrong with the shimano x pride b i have this in a medium and um have this in spinning rods and casting rods i believe i have about like six or seven x prides and you know i i love them all you know very versatile rods Maybe I'll show the, uh, I think I have a 610 medium light spinning. Maybe I'll, that, I'll give that a go too. You can't really go wrong with the X Pride series, the uh, monocalc handle. Over here, you got the cord grips. It's very nice. You know, it's not bad cord. It's actually pretty good corks, you know. Very soft, comfortable. Yeah, for a real seat, Japanese rods. Um, this one didn't have a hook keeper. Usually the American one has a hook keeper right here. My 72 medium light, my US model did. So you got something to look out for if you're buying the uh, JDM version or USDM version. So yeah, overall, this is a great rod. Can't go wrong with this reel. This rod combo setup. Nice medium rod right here. Awesome guys. And I'll definitely give you guys some more reviews of my, um, my gear and tackle. I like, I have a, few rods that i like and, and um if i don't like i usually get rid of them so like you know so the ones that i give reviews on are pretty much the ones that are here to stay but um yeah overall i you know i fished this rod for more than a year and uh i absolutely love it you could tell by the cork <laughs> i had to clean it and reseal it a couple times make sure it kind of stays nice but Overall, you know, I try to keep it in good condition and I absolutely love it. Very versatile, very sensitive, nice backbone. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong with the Shimano x -Pro rides. The only thing that sucks is the warranty for Shimano. It's only one year, so that's why I, I did upgrade recently to uh, G Loomis NRX rods and NRX pluses because the uh, warranty, you know, you could do the expediter, expediter uh, warranty and like pay like a certain amount of money. Say like I spent like a, it's like 150 bucks to get a, a NRX replacement. So I think it's definitely worth it because I definitely broke a real seat on my on the X Pride. I have the X Pride on the uh, G Loomis and I sent them in and they gave me a new rod in like two or three days, which they're owned by Shimano <laughs> and gets shipped out by Shimano in Irvine, California. So. Both of their customer service are pretty good. I definitely would lean towards a G Loomis for warranty, but overall, both great rods, both great companies. And um, yeah, they definitely develop great technologies and they share similar technologies. So uh, if you notice the NRX Plus, is, they have the Shimano kind of like X Power or spiral wrapping, so which is from the Shimano rod building department so you know not too far off very great technology very comfortable um yeah pretty much can't go wrong with this guys thank you